Hello everyone, this is Mr. Random Generator. In this video, we will be looking at top 5 ciphers throughout the history. Starting off with the first one, Caesar cipher. It is probably the most known cipher out there and I guess many of you heard it before. It involves your regular alphabet and a corresponding random letter set. When you want to encrypt a message, all you have to do is replace each letter on the message with the corresponding one on the cipher. By today's standards, it is obviously very easy to break. However, we know that when Caesar was alive, it was used uh, effectively. Moving on with the second cipher, the Visionary Square. This can be thought as an advanced version of Caesar's cipher. It involves a table called Tabula Recta. To encrypt a message, you start off by creating a random key as same length as your message. Then pick letter from your message and find the corresponding row. After that, Pick letter from your key and find the corresponding column. The overlapping letter is your encrypted letter. Iterate this process until you reach the end of your message. Then you should have an encrypted version of it. To decrypt a message, all you have to do is iterate over your key on the row of the square. Then find corresponding letter in the cipher text. The column letter should be the letter on the original message. Now we can look up another cipher, which is the famous Enigma cipher. It was developed by a German engineer named Arthur Scherbius. It involves a keyboard, lightboard, rotary disks, and a plugboard. Although it is a pretty complicated electromechanical system, it works in a following way. First, you put your numbered or lettered rotors in certain order according to the specifications you had. Then, you configure your plugboard according to those specifications as well. After that, you can encrypt, decrypt messages by typing on the keyboard. The result for each letter will show up on the light board. Even if you type same letter multiple times, the outcome will be different and that is the beauty of Enigma. Because you essentially alter the electrical path in every single iteration. Obviously this is oversimplified explanation but you get the idea. And the cool part about Enigma is its effectiveness which is proven in the Second World War until it is cracked by the genius named Alan Turing, which we can say that he is the founding father of the modern computer science. From that reason I have highly amazed and interested in the Enigma machine, even so that I have created my own simplified version using STM32 chip which you can find up here. Anyway, as for our final encryption, let's look at AES which stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. It is essentially based off Rindell cipher and it is the encryption standard that is widely used today. On very high level, it works in the following way. Initially, we have to point out few values. First, we got fixed input block with a size of 128 bits. Then we got multiple key blocks with varying sizes of 128, 192 and 256 bits. First, we start with separating our text to 4x4 blocks. Second, we drive multiple keys from our initial key according to the Rindell's key schedule. This process is called key expansion. Then, we combine our initial key with our block that contains the message fragment via XOR cipher. This step is called adding the round key. After that, things get a bit operational. We first substitute bytes from a lookup table. Then we shift rows, mix columns and start to add our derived round keys. We repeat those operations multiple times according to the key that we have chosen initially. If we have pick 128 bit version, we repeat it 9 times, 192 bit version 11 times and 256 bit version 13 times. AES encryption is obviously a very detailed topic to explain in a short video. So I will provide some useful links in the description so you'll understand the concepts in detail. I, I hope you find this video helpful and if that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Take care.